from, uh, from the City of Jackson Police Department, Sergeant Jennifer Flick. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? Good to see you again. Good seeing you. Welcome back. Thank you. And Jennifer, everyone knows Jennifer because you are one of the, uh, the, the veterans at the Jackson Police Department. And this year, it's a milestone year, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll hit my 25th year next month. Awesome. 25 <laughs> years. Fantastic. Yes. Did you think it was going to turn into a lifetime for you? I had hoped that it would turn yeah. into a lifetime career. I mean, it's been good to come back because I was raised in this community, so it's mm -hmm. good to serve here. When you started, the, the women in, in uh, police departments w w were not as common as they are today. Correct. Did I mean, you, glass ceiling for you? Um, no, I mean, it's definitely, I've always had other females in, in the profession that were here before me. Like if you remember Jan Noppy and Lisa Medina mm -hmm. and Mary Jo Kennedy. And um, now we have several females that, that I work with. So it, it's good to have a good group of us. Well, you're also part of the uh, JPD Honor Guard. Correct. What, what is the Honor Guard? The Honor Guard is a special unit within the, the police department. Um, we serve at the, the will of, of the chief and we do various events. I mean, our main um, responsibility is, heaven forbid, an officer was killed in line of duty, like when Jim Bonner was killed. Um, we handle all his funeral details. But we also do special events like flag raisings, um, community events, and we do parades. Uh, right here, you're, you're seeing um, our annual police memorial um, that happens in May to coincide with National Police Week. Um, this was last year down at um, CP Federal Square. Um, but like I said, we do marching and parades and um, just any other event. Yeah, the um, Honor Guard, typically in a parade you're carrying uh, the, the flags, the colors. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, but the, um, the gun salute, those firing, were they're part of the Honor Guard too? Yes, they are. Um, yeah, but we do a gun salute um, and you know, it's just like the military, but we do it with six guns mm -hmm. and we're all in cadence. Uh, how many people on the uh, Department Honor Guard? There's 12 on our team right now. Okay, and oh. you have been um, with the department 25 years, but the Honor Guard has an anniversary coming up uh, they, next year. They absolutely do. Um, you know, it will be the 50th year that um, the Honor Guard has been with the city of Jackson. And um, the first day that it started was April 1st, 1971. Hmm. And then their first event was the Memorial Day Parade. Um, right here you can see that we're out at the, um, the Tunnels to Tower Run. We're presenting the colors there. Um, and then the next year we did it as well, but we did it with the um, honor guard from the um, corrections up there at the, the prison. So yeah, it was you know, a we combined, work, mm, combined we work, color we work with other, other teams as well. So, mm -hmm. cause you never can do everything on yourself and it's good that we can collaborate mm -hmm. with other departments. Does uh, it take extra training or what, what is involved to be part of the uh, honor guard? Well, back when it started, Frank Miller actually started it, like I said, back in 1971, and he picked an original team of eight people. And those original pe people, I just want to give a little shout out to, were Frank Miller, Leonard Mall, Larry Fitton, Jim Henley, Jim Hennon, Mike Ran, Bob Howe, and Richard Johnson. So that original eight made us go up into where we are now. But um, we have practice um, back when uh, somebody first comes on the team, we practice you know, monthly to get them up to be able to march in, in, in coordination. And then uh, you know, we have caustic movements and we you know, move our rifles and the flag. So it takes some specialized training, but we can do that all in house. And so for us to work together as a team to be able to go out there and do the events that the city needs. Yeah, and some of those uh, original members, they tune in to JTV every day. Yes, yes, thank you for being part of uh, Jackson's police history. Absolutely. Was there a particular reason or an event that caused the um, department to start an honor guard? I think it was just something that um, Frank Miller kind of envisioned, and um, he brought the team together, and that team has some rich history. I mean, they actually have been and done funerals in every state in the United States. Wow. Um, and they were the national FOP honor guard for one year. They went down to Washington, D.C. and were invited down there and they won a competition. So they served at the whim of the national FOP. And I think the FOP, Jackson FOP has a, an anniversary uh, coming up too, right? Yes, they do. They also have an yeah. anniversary coming up as well. So, so um, you know, the, the first honor guard actually started with Daryl Miller. 
and then Frank Miller went to the, the Chief Daryl Miller, and but the FOP supported it at that time because at, back in the day there wasn't a whole lot of funds and stuff, so it was a good collaboration between the police department and the Fraternal Order of Police. Yeah, I know a lot of it is you, it's volunteer uh, time you are putting in when you are at these parades and the various events. And that's something I didn't realize, and it's tragic when a police officers is killed in the line of duty, but you see the uh, tremendous uh, support of all the nation's departments at uh, a funeral, and mm -hmm. that's, and you, you as a department are represented. Yes, and, and we represent, I mean, because it's a huge brotherhood. I mean, just because I may work for the city, you know, somebody that works for the county or the state or even a, a neighboring department or a neighboring state. I mean, we're all there in those times of need. When's your next uh, event that you'll be uh, appearing at? Um, most likely our next event, hopefully, will be the Christmas parade. So, okay. yeah, nice. hopefully we'll have good weather. I've been in the Christmas parade several years, and I've been there when it's been warm and hot. And then I remember one year the snow was, was flying across ways, like horizontal. It was so oh. bad. So Now, when uh, the honor guard uh, marches or when they enter a room, it's protocol to, to stand at, at attention and silence, isn't it? Um, depending upon a little bit of the event, but when um, the American flag passes, somebody should stand and stand at attention and stand in silence. I mean, yeah. it's just respect for the flag. What's the hardest part about being on the, the color guard or the honor guard? Um, I mean, the color guard is doing the events and stuff. And um, I, I remember some of the years with the Rose Parade, there's been some long walks and some hot walks <laughs> on those. <laughs> Um, but it's a good event. And then, um, I mean, funerals are always hard. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just, but, you, you know, you do that and you pay that respect to your fallen brother. Well, we're honored that you're doing it and uh, that we have uh, such a team. Well, with well thank department. you for having me in and supporting us. Yeah, happy anniversary Street. to the JPD uh, Honor Guard and to Sergeant Jennifer Flix. 25 years yes. of service. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bart. Good to see you. Good seeing you. Uh, Sergeant Jennifer Flick, Jackson Police Department. Up next here.